Hey gents, today we are talking about a not so subtly named company, American Tall with a big giraffe. This is another great recommendation from you guys. This company specializes in clothing for men 6'3 and above. And here's a shot of their sizing chart, like when you're selecting the size you want of the clothing. I've never seen these sizes, and that's a huge plus for me because I'm 6'4 and I do have trouble shopping at like mainstream brands, Banana Republic, J. Crew and all the standard brands. I found niches with like Bonobos and some other brands and then custom clothing, of course. Uh, but I'm looking forward to doing a company that specializes in this because I know there's some of you guys out there that are even taller, even lankier, and you're not really served by the big and tall stores. You're, those are just more like, like big, not necessarily tall, but this brand seems to have the stuff that we're looking for. So here is what I ordered. I wanted to get a little bit of everything. They basically have everything you need from jeans to sweatpants to hoodies to button down shirts and everything in between. I actually had trouble shopping for myself because I'm so slim and tall. A lot of what I needed was either a small tall or the jeans didn't go down to the size that I needed. But I wanted to get a representative sample of product so that I could speak to the quality that they're made of. Is this like, are we, are we looking at, you know, department store level quality? Are we looking at J. Crew level quality? Uh, and just give you an idea of what the fit is like. Free shipping, of course, free returns also included on here. And uh, so let's see what we got. We have some Oxford cotton button downs. Got to have some of these. We got a pink one here. This is another casual shirt. I think I grabbed some short sleeves or some dress, uh, dress shirts as well. This is one of the sweaters. Grabbed a polo for the basics. Here's another polo. So the polo here, 68 cotton, 65 cotton, 35 polyester. And a Henley. Oh, another Henley small tall. Oh, got all kinds of stuff. All right, here's another t-shirt. We have uh, some sweatpants. Grab some chinos, or these, this is a denim. Uh, oh, chinos and then denim. So let's try all this on. Oh, this is actually a 3036. I couldn't get like a 3134, which is my typical size. That's a little bit more readily available. It's on the mainstream brands, but some of these sizes are crazy, like 32, 38. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to trying them on. Let's talk about all of them as we get into it. So first we'll start off with the Carmen Tabered Fit Blue Steel Tall Men's Jeans in 3036. Because they are tapered fit, you can see they're quite tight, but look at that inseam. I typically wear a 34 inseam in my pants because I like my break to be like right at my shoes, but it's rare. I've, I've literally never seen a 30, 36 uh, sized pant. And so you can see that it does fit me well in the waist. It goes straight down to my legs. There's a little bit of uh, bunching down at the bottom. And so if I could go with a 34, but the denim is pretty nice. It has some stretch to it. It's I put it right in the camp of, you know, some of your, your typical mall brands, but because they offer sizing that those mall brands don't, you know, this is definitely a great option to go. I personally don't like my jeans to be this long, but for $79, I think this is a solid pair of denim. Next we have the Oscar dress shirt in white four square. This is the size small, tall. It comes in at $65. It is a 100% cotton shirt. And as you can see that the torso fits me perfectly, the shoulders fit well, but the shirt is just, it's actually a little bit long, which isn't a problem that I typically have. I ordered a small tall because I assumed, you know, that's where I would typically fall as I do in other dress shirts. My sleeves, I usually buy a 36 inch length sleeve. So my typical dress shirt size is a 15 and a half 36. That typically gives me a very nice fit. The small tall in most brands typically give me a nice torso fit while also being long enough for tucking. As you can see, plenty long to be tucked here, but also long enough in the sleeves. This one, uh, a little bit long, but it's $65 for a 100% cotton dress shirt. I think this is pretty good, especially if you're taller and you need this type of shirt. Next, I have two of the Henleys. I wanted to get a small tall and a medium tall to give you an idea of how the shirts fit. And something to consider is that even though I'm 6'4", a lot of my height does come from my legs. So my torso is pretty short, but as you can see with the small tall Henley here, I love the way this thing fits. The sleeves are just a little bit long, but on a Henley, I don't really mind. I'll just kind of roll uh, the sleeves or bunch it up a little bit. I like to have my sleeves end right around my wrist. But as you can see in the medium tall, it gives you a little bit of extra room around the torso. It's slightly longer in the torso, but the sleeve length is the same on both of them. And so just to give you an idea of the difference between the medium and small tall, if you're trying to decide between the two, and then $19 for a 100% cotton t-shirt, 
it should be pretty good for a while. Next we have the Everyday Tall Tees in Azure Blue, a small tall, and this is only $12 for 100% cotton shirt. I really like this color, and the fit is very good. It is slightly long, but again, that's my own torso thing. I think this would fit most taller guys very well, especially if you're this slim. I like where the sleeves end on my bicep. I don't like it to be too much longer. I don't have a lot of excess fabric in the bicep here. I'm also, I don't know if you can tell, I've been trying, I've been hitting the gym to try and fill out these shirts a little bit more. It's a nice soft cotton, and if this holds up through a few washes, keeps the color and keeps the structure of the fabric, this would be a great buy at $12. These baby blue chinos, I really like. I love the color of these. Obviously this is a spring summer color. I'm doing this video in fall winter, but regardless, I really like the way the chinos fit. I also like the fabric in them. It's not quite that bonobos quality that I consider the gold standard, but I'd be hard pressed to distinguish these between a Banana Republic J. Crew chino. And so with these chinos being at $79, slightly higher price, but again, they have way more sizing than you'd be typically get at a brand. And so that makes these a great pick, especially they look and feel slightly looser than the jeans, although they're both a tapered fit. They're both 30, 36. And there is a little bit more stretch in the chinos than there is in the jeans. And there's a little bit more stretch than a typical chino, but I like that there's that stretch. Next for the polos, we have two tall polo shirts, one in cadet blue. The next one is going to be in burgundy. The first one in cadet blue is a medium tall. And as you can see, it's pretty long, just like the Henleys were, which is not great for me, but it's gonna be great for some tall guys. And in the medium tall, you can see that it has a little bit of extra width in the torso. And as we switch to the small tall here, it has the same length, it's pretty long, but a much better fit around the torso and the shoulders, so I would definitely go with a small tall. This one is a little bit long again. I can get away with a small polo from most brands based on my body height, but it's a beautiful PK. It is a 65-35 cotton polyester blend. I'd rather have something 100% cotton, but at $29, I think this is a great buy, especially if you're looking for these sizes. Where a polo really should fit is about here. It should be about halfway to your fly, about a little above, I like a little bit above halfway around your butt, depending on where it is. If it's covering your butt entirely, it's much too long. If it's going down past your fly, then it is much too long. And so this is my ideal fit on a polo, including the way the torso looks. Next, we'll look at the Oxfords. We have the men's tall button down in pink. This is the medium tall. And this is the same thing with the other shirts. You can see the sleeves are pretty long. You can see that the fit is pretty good. Uh, but as far as a quality Oxford goes, again, this is right in line with what I'd expect from traditional brands. It's at $65 and with reinforced button stitching around the edges and an unbranded, very soft Oxford cotton. I like this shirt. The next one is the untucked washed Oxford in apricot. This is a small tall, so you can see that the torso fits much better on me, but also it is considerably shorter than the medium tall was. As we've seen across the line, the, the lengths tend to be uniform, but this one is quote, untuckable, and so it's much shorter. It also has this accent on the bottom of the placket, which is a very subtle uh, giraffe, which is the logo of the brand. The untucked one here was $39 for me versus 65 for the button down. If you can get these shirts at $39, that's an incredible deal on a great high quality, well-fitting Oxford shirt. And on this one, the sleeves actually fit me perfect. I don't know if that's the difference in the untucked versus the non-tucked, but the small tall, this is probably the best fitting shirt in the entire unboxing. From a length perspective, you can see uh, it's right where I want the shirt to end here as far as my fly and, and my sleeves as well. And I love the way the torso fits. I also really like the color and I don't think I have this in my collection, so this is probably my new shirt. Next we have the tall sweatpants in black. These are a medium tall, and while they do fit me very well, this is another 65-35 cotton polyester blend made in China. They're $49. I'd say they're appropriately priced. This is another thing that it's like you're paying to get the sizing, not necessarily the quality of the pants. The reason that I want to spend 70 or $80 on Mack Weldon's pants because they're made from like a super soft French terry, uh, and they're just very luxurious. These ones are like pretty good. And then finally, we have the regular fit tall crew neck sweater in indigo. And it came with an interesting note about the fabric that this is chosen for. But I was surprised to learn it's a 7228 viscose nylon blend. And so I was expecting it to be like a high quality cotton with the way that it talks about the care. But I do think this is still the way you should wash things. You wash it on like, like cold, medium warm water and then either tumble dry it at the lowest heat possible or hang dry. I hang dry a lot of my stuff, which is how I get so much life out of them.
but I really like the color. I do like how soft it is. It is only $58, so this is another one where you're paying to get the sizing, not necessarily the fabric, but I prefer to get something that's either like a complete cotton sweater or merino wool sweater, or especially that lovely cashmere. But again, if you want to order from Nadam or from Everlane, it's like you can't get those that fit these tall guys. And so I love that this brand is really catering to that. And that's what brings me to my wrap up of the overall brand. So overall, I think the quality of the clothing is appropriate for the price. Whether it's the Henleys, the Tees, the Oxford Cotton button downs, I think these are extremely price competitive with your mainstream brands. But the fact that they cater to tall guys, especially tall skinny guys like me, is where this brand really comes into play. And I'm glad that they're catering to us. I do think depending on your body type, you might have trouble if you're in that, in that like 6'3", 6'4", range. So like me at 6'4", I can still pretty much shop traditional brands, but I do have trouble with some. As far as the clothing goes, I do like the styles, I like the colorways that they're using. I like the color palettes for things like the chinos and the Oxford cotton button down. And so I think this is a nicely designed brand so far. They seem to have most things in inventory when I was shopping for my size. I did have trouble finding some things in a small tall, but I'm sure that's a very small part of their business. I'm sure it's, it's much more that bell curve, like the mediums and the larges, because uh, us tall guys can be big guys too. So that's American Tall. I do recommend this for anybody in your life that may be that tall, slender, or even tall, larger guy because they do have not just tapered fit chinos, they have some of the more relaxed fit chinos, but they have the waistband sizes and the inseam lengths that are very rare. And so any guy that you know in your life that either needs to get his pants tailored because he bought way too big or too long or something, I think American Tall is a great choice for those guys. So thank you guys for recommending this brand. I wouldn't have known about it if it weren't for the comments. And so as always, I have a uh, link tracker in the description where you can go and contribute to the spreadsheet if you want to see a certain brand. I try to pick them out of the comments, but it gets difficult because I lose comments because they're coming in on all my videos and there's not a good interface for that on YouTube. And so thank you as always for uh, letting me know. I'll be down in the comments. If you do have any questions, you can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.